Self-interrupt. I'm sorry, what's your name? Hold on. Fucking out? I'm sorry, what's your name? Um, Officer Spencer. Spencer, and your badge number? 10721. Okay. Um, I have I have made um probably over a dozen reports with phone issues. And I have never had one phone issues, yeah. My phone has cut off in emergencies, my text data has shut off. It's been going on years. And it's been malfunctioning years and you know, there's something suspicious about my calls. I don't uh, I call places Okay, so don't they have a, a technical crime department? No, you got to talk to your carrier first. I just supposed to be a carrier? Yeah, the police intervened, and then the, they won't do an investigation. They told me I need to go through the police and get an attorney. I don't know why so Your many businesses... Told you that? Yeah, they. I don't know why so many businesses would deny me services when the police weren't showing up to intervene. I'm sorry? I had straight talk problems with straight talk. I had problems with AT and T, uh, and now uh, Metro. Well, maybe you should try Verizon. This is the police department. Yes, ma'am. Are you denying me the right no, to report the crime, Spencer? No, we can't. What crime is it? You just say you have problems with your phone. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Someone's breaking into the phone. I have this wealthy abuser, and I believe that he was breaking into the phone with emergencies. My phone would cut off, and I'd be trying to call for help, and my phone would shut off. Okay, so who is it that you believe is breaking into your phone? Jason Gardner of Vivid Images, Baton Rouge. Okay, so what would you like me to do? Uh, this is the police department. I can you like give me you know information on what I would need to do as a citizen. Because I do I have to investigate the crime myself, or do you guys investigate? Have you tried changing your phone? I have. I tried to change carriers. I think may, are you guys denying me investigation? Yeah, I've changed. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand why the carriers want to investigate and they want me to call the police, and why the police oh, intervened at AT and T. I just don't understand why the police department is denying me law enforcement, especially with my phone issues. Why are they so um, protective over enforcing the issues that I have with my phone? I mean, if someone if someone was preventing me from getting my calls and I'm calling all over the United States and not getting returned calls and I'm in a DV situation, I would imagine that's highly criminal. And I would think that that's pretty sick for our police department team to be involved in that. So I don't know how to combat but police denying me reports and um, bringing right care out to intervene in me reporting the issues with my crime. What report would you like? Well, I want to know why reporting my phone issues will the police uh, not investigate? I'm telling you that someone's breaking into my phone. I've had multiple different carriers. Why will you not let me uh, tell me, instruct me on what I need to do to protect myself from someone breaking into my phone and the suspicion, suspicious things with why I'm not getting multiple calls? I'm fighting for my life, ma'am, and uh, I, there's a lot of crazy things going on. And if someone's interrupting my calls, I don't understand why the police won't investigate that. That's a crime. What kind of report would you like done? You want some, someone? You what kind of report would you like done for you? Well, do you when you're calling and give if you had an emergency situation, can you call the police? Sure. Okay. Can you imagine how that feels if you can't? Well, you're calling the police right now, and, and it's happening. Okay. Let me rephrase what I'm saying. If you need, if you're in an emergency situation. And you need assistance and justice from the police. You need to be protected from the police. Do you get that? If I'm in an emergency situation and I need to be protected from the police. If you're in an emergency situation and you need protection. Yeah, I mean, I kind of do need protection from the police, but that's not what I mean. I mean that let's say that you're in an emergency. Someone breaks into your house and you call the police. Do you have that right? Yeah. I don't. I don't. Because police have taken it from me. They cover for all the crimes that happened to me. Well, I don't know about that. 
Okay. Well, here's the thing. I'm uh, going through an issue, fighting for my life, and I'm calling places all over the United States, and my calls aren't being returned. So I would like to know what is going on with my phone, and I want to know why police interrupt me reporting it in um, to my phone's carrier, AT&T. I don't AT&T. know what is going on with your phone, man, but I suggest you try a different carrier. Like I said, just try Verizon and see how it works out for you. No, I'm reporting that some criminal activity is going on with my phone. I don't know why the police would not let me report that and investigate it. It's been going on years, ma'am. If I so told you, you I'm you fighting wanna, for my life and so I'm not getting my calls. you report for someone break, hacking your phone? Yes. That's all you want? Yeah, I mean, I want an investigation. Okay, I don't. You know, well, man, if you if that's what you want, a report for someone hacking into your phone, you can come. You can go to any Dallas police station, and they will do a report for you for someone hacking your phone. Okay, okay hold on one moment, ma'am. One one moment. One second. Well, can you tell me what went on? I've already reported it. Can you tell me what happened with this police report number? What's the case number, ma'am? Okay. One. Let me get that for you. Oh five two. Eight eight nine. Hold on, hold on. Zero five two. Eight 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 nine. Eight eight nine. Twenty twenty two. Okay, hold on. Okay. I'm on hold. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, I also, I told him the officer that I've had tried to report my phone issues multiple times. Well, and... you didn't tell him that in this one, you talked about something that happened to you on the dark bus. On the dark bus? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what report number is that? The one that you gave me, 052889. Okay, one moment. One moment. Make sure I gave you the right one. Um. Well, I just want to check the reports because if I told you that I'm in a crisis and fighting for my life, I want to get down to the bottom of what's going on with my phone. So if you can just give me a minute to with this being. Fighting for your life, home, man. I'm sorry. Fighting for your life. Home. Um. I've been attacked. I've been ran off the road. A car sped up like it was gonna oh, hit no, me. Oh, no. I've had a gun pulled on me. I've had multiple assaults. Okay. No problem. I'm just checking that report number. Just one second. Okay. So 052889-2022 said that I had a problem on a dark bus. 052889, yes. He said, um, you said that you were assaulted by two males on the dark bus. And the uh, bus driver covered for the two meals. Okay, did they talk about the Salvation Army? Uh, let's see. Yes, in Tyler, Texas. Um, the one in uh, Dallas. No, they got Tyler, Texas in here. Oh, okay. Okay, so um, what what happened? Where's the investigator for me getting assaulted on the dark bus? Okay, um, so they for, they didn't say anything about um, the Salvation Army I me mean, getting detained at the Salvation Army, huh? Uh, you said that you had an incident as well with the Salvation Army, Salvation Army in Tyler, Texas. You oh. You about what happened in Tyler, Texas. Oh, okay. Well, here, let's try this one right here. Because um, you said reported. I've already reported it. So let's see. Um, let me give you this one. Okay. How many case numbers are you working with today? I, are you denying me law enforcement, ma'am? Because I'm telling you I'm fighting for my life. And I'm asking you a question. How many um, case numbers are you dealing with today? Well, that one was not investigated. So okay. let me try to give you this one. Okay. This one. Um, let me make sure I give you the right one. One moment. Okay. It's 064. Yes. Yeah. 064. 882. 882. Dash 2021. Oh, 21. All right. Let's see. Hold on. Okay. Virgo? Yes. <sighs> Uh, what happened? Uh, I, I can't 
could just tell you what the report said. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll say that your, it's your ex who has control over your phone remotely. Okay. From another state. I He lives in a... I don't know how he's controlling... Email? Hello? Yeah. And he has control over your email? I don't know what, what's going on with that, but I mean, I've had problems with my phone. I mean, like I tell you, it's quite a different service. Okay, what happened? What happened with what? He just did the officer that you made the report to, he wrote a report for you. Okay, so here's the problem. Um, the first officer tampered with evidence, which is a felony, and would not do an investigation on a child crime that happened at the Salvation Army because I think the police just handcuffed me and hauled what me off Salvation on their own. Army, man? The one in Tyler? No, the one in Dallas. Okay. I reported it at um, with Parkland Police. The At Parkland with Parkland Police, and they covered for it too. So that's tampering with evidence. Both of those police departments committed a felony trying to cover for the incident that happened at Salvation Army. Police just came from nowhere on, out of malice and handcuffed me and detained me. And then he had my property, which is a crime. To, I had money in there. I had my card. I had my ID. But today, today, I'm trying to report issues with my phone. If someone is preventing me from getting my calls at multiple different carriers... The solutions that the police and multiple parties come up with is to keep me in the chaos. And then it's good and going to another provider is not going to solve the issue. I don't know why so many parties, I'm not able to verbalize, ma'am, what I'm looking for. I'm not able to verbalize. Going to another carrier is not going to rectify the issue. The no, crime. Like said, if you want to report, then I, I'm more than willing to do one for you. All you got to do is come to the station. I'll okay. do one for you. Okay, well, we, we've had multiple reports. I've done dozens. What I'm trying to figure out, ma'am, what I'm trying to figure out is why law enforcement is enforcing my phone issues. What is it to them? Why will they not investigate the chaos going on with my phone and tamper with evidence? That officer risked the felony covering for the Salvation Army incident and that my phone issue, as well as multiple I officers. Know. Well, I you don't have to. Man. Okay, so what do I do? Um, do I report it? Why well, won't, you know, um, I like to know what that charge is, breaking into someone's phone, um, manipulating their calls. Well, she's so inconvenienced by my false arrest and my experiences. If it's hard on her hearing it, I wonder how it feels to experience it. Your name's Watson? Huh? Your name's Watson? Is this who? Your, your officer Watson? Washington. Washington. You may I have your badge number? So, uh, you're trying to uh, report about the, uh, dark stuff? Uh, your badge number, please? 12101. Can you hold on, please? 12101. Yeah, can you hold on, please? Okay. Uh, all right, I'm going to help you now. You, you're calling about the same stuff that you didn't call before about, about your case not being investigated. Am I correct? Um, correct. Um, I'm, correct. I'm trying to report phone issues. Well, I mean, am I correct? Because I spoke to you last time and you recorded me about the same situation about that uh, police is not investigating your your uh, your case. So last time that you called, you came in here not too long after that, and we took a report and we filed a report. You came back a week later, and another report was filed for you. So you have to give time for the uh, the detective to contact you. Oh, sir, I have like sixty one something reports and only one detective. Okay, well, I, I can't. I don't. I'm not able to verbalize my like why I called. Maybe that's part of the problem, sir. Are you tampering with evidence? Because that would be a crime. Man, I don't know about your sixty one reports. That's right. What, uh, that's what I'm trying to invent. I, I called because there was a crime happening right now. 
and there's okay, 61. I can't, yeah, sir, if you're talking and tampering so with evidence, there, it won't let me report the crimes. Is, if there is a crime happening right now, you need to call 911, okay? I wanted some education, and I don't know why you would cover for the criminal oh. activity that's happening okay. for me, sir. That's so, a crime. Ma'am, ma you just said that's the crime that is happening right now. Right. That's I called to get education. I if I have 61 well, reports and my life was in jeopardy, why okay. would you guys treat me this way? So which one is it? Is there a crime happening right now, or are you calling about your reports, your 61 reports? Can I tell you why I called? Why do, why do police argue with me and mistreat me? This is abusive, sir. If my life is okay. in jeopardy. I've been okay. ran off the road. I had a gun pulled on me, attacked, okay, multiple so attacks so, and multiple so, assaults. So what you need to do is call 911. Is there anything else that I I have questions. I don't know why she put you on the phone and hit, hit me up and mistreat me if I have I'm questions not, regarding I'm my not, phone. Uh, now, if there, there is a crime that's been committed to you, you need to call Right. Me. So call let, can I finish and get my questions answered, sir? You just got on the phone. Okay, ma'am. All right. Is there anything else I can assist you, you with? You, I haven't asked any questions. You just kind of are tampering with evidence, committing a crime, trying to keep the, uh, me in the chaos. I want, know, did, did I want to know. I want to know my rights. If someone is breaking into my phone and manipulating my calls, and I'm calling all over the United States when all these this chaos is happening to me, ma'am. And calls are getting. Can you hold on, please? Okay, sir. Hello? Yes. Uh, Help, may I, yes, may I have your name? Rattler. Who? Rattler. Okay, and your badge number? Uh, I'm sorry? I'm saying, you know I'm not the same person you just talked to, right? Right, that's why I'm asking you your badge number. Oh, yeah, 10249. 10249? Yeah. Okay, so... I want to know if someone, because I, I got, I've been robbed, I've been attacked, and a lot of this stuff was on camera footage, locked on a train, threatened, um, so I feel that my life is in jeopardy. So what I was trying to do was figure out why I'm calling all over the United States and my phone calls aren't getting returned, and my phone keeps malfunctioning. So I wanted to know what my rights are because it keeps happening with different carriers. My text would cut off, my data was shut off, and in fact, my I could not get phone service again with my provider and I had to go to another different provider. And it was a new phone that I had just got that month. And three or four times, my phone would cut off that cut off that month. And I had to keep going back to the carrier. But what I'm trying to figure out is the police covering for the crimes that happened to me because that's a crime. I would like to report the issues going on with my phone and I made multiple reports and the investigator has never called me back. And if my life is indeed in jeopardy with getting attacked, ran off the road, a car speeding up, and most of this stuff is on camera footage, because I wouldn't believe it. And then I'm calling all over to get a support system. That's pretty sadistic if someone's controlling my calls and I don't know why the police wouldn't take that report. Dozens of them. And if they are indeed trying to keep me in my abuse, what are those charges if my life is in, in jeopardy and they're controlling my phone and I'm paying the phone bill? So if you're paying the phone bill and all that good um, stuff, then there's a good chance that you need to contact your provider and let them know that your service is getting dropped and you shouldn't be paying for something if, you know, if if you need it and it's not working. It's not right, working. but I want to report the person I think that's breaking into it to get an investigation to see if these things are really happening. So what's ha um, when uh, my provider, AT&T, said, they said at their own mouth it kept happening, but the provider wouldn't investigate or the police. So if the provider, I, Metro, said that I needed to have the police investigated, they wouldn't do it, get an attorney or call the police. So if my providers are denying me and that's pretty odd, I think maybe the police are behind it because the provider telling you to call the police and they're the, because you would think that if you're paying your phone bill, they wouldn't want their network getting broke into. Okay. Have you uh, contacted the corporate office on that? Well, what I, I want to know why police would not deny me investigation well, first because all, it's happened with multiple carriers. Well, now, first of all, we, we cannot deny you that because we have to investigate it. Um, and oh, well, good. Well, good. Well, okay. So I have multiple reports that she just looked up and it wasn't getting investigated. I've had over 20 something reports that have never been investigated. And my phone carrier okay. will not investigate, period. None of them. They yeah, want me to. But at, same, but at the same time, and I'm going to be real with you, uh, we're very understaffed at this right now. And it's a good chance that the detectives just haven't got these yet. For years? For years? This was 2021. I, the whole time I've been 
time, like I said before, now, I'm not sure how they're backed up or not or how many people they have working, but if, a, if it's a whole bunch and we're a big city, you know, it's over 100,000 folks in there, and it's a good chance that we have a lot of offenses in that day. Okay, so I'm not trying to pull your leg or anything like that. Like, hmm. that's, you know, the real okay? Okay, so, it was 2021. Yeah, and I understand that. And at the same time, like I said before, I will let you know that if you want to come in and follow the report or, or get somebody to come out there and do a report for you, you can. Because well, it's still one. Okay, but, okay, so yeah. I want to know once again, if someone is breaking into my phone and multiple different carriers, controlling my calls, cutting it off in emergencies, what is the charges? What crime is that? The crime right there for them cutting in and breaking into your phone, I'm not sure. Because at the same time, I'm not understanding how they, they're getting into your service. But at the same time, that's going to have to be on the carrier. It's not us until we can see. If they're, if they're using your information for something, and they, they can be like fraud or forgery and stuff of that nature. But if they're just breaking into your phone and stuff like that, and they're the security is weak, then you're going to have to go for the carrier and tell them that, hey, this is what's going on. All right. But we can give you a report so you can contact the corporate office so they can go ahead and compensate you for your phone being unsecure and everything, man. Okay. You know what I think, sir? I think the police are behind why my carriers won't investigate. I think they put them up to not investigate, and I think the police told the carriers that to call the police when I try to get my phone investigated and had get protection. I, I can I finish? I think I, I think that police are behind why these multiple carriers threaten the police and call to enforce me to stay in this chaos. I think that when I try to report it to the police and they don't do their investigation because they're keeping me in my experience and they refer me back to the carriers and they've already told the carriers to call the police and deny me investigation for the crime. It's not normal behavior for a carrier to condone someone breaking into their network, putting multiple other parties at risk. But when law enforcement gets in and commits crimes, and how do we know law enforcement did it? Because they were waiting there at AT AT&T at this corporate location. So first, before you refer me back to the provider, we need to figure out why you guys are risking felonies to keep me in jeopardy. Where am I at? Yeah, let's see if I get arrested again. I'm at 